Bible teacher, Carl Crowley. Get ready to study your Bible. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Are You Ready? I pray you're having a very blessed evening in the Lord. Jesus loves you. We have something very important to talk to you. Let's drink our water. Salud. We are living in perilous times. The Apostle Paul said in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, In the last days, perilous times will come. And the word for per perilous in Greek means dangerous. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we love you, we praise you, and we adore you. Holy Spirit, we ask that you direct everything I say, everything I do. Let it be for your glory. Touch and minister to people in these last days in jesus name amen if you're watching are you ready please subscribe and click notification thank you for watching here we go two men wounded in a shooting once again ladies and gentlemen last day event south center mall this is in uh tukila tukila uh of uh, washington uh, close to Seattle, Washington. Two men were shot in South Center Mall just before noon Saturday, prompting officials to evacuate the shopping center in order people still in stores to shelter in place. Tequila, Tequila police tweeted the shooting appeared to be an isolated incident between potentially known individuals. So this is something that happened between people that may be known. The men, ages 32 and 27, were taken to Harborview Medical Center, keep them in prayer, in Seattle. According to hospital spokesman Susan Craig, the 32-year-old was in satisfactory condition while and was to be discharged Saturday. Uh, the 27-year-old was in serious condition, so pray for his healing in Jesus' name. Let's watch this news right up here. This last day event, ladies and gentlemen, listen to this. While the search continues right now for the shooter who opened fire inside Tequila's South Center Mall. Shooting happened around noon as families were out doing their weekend errands. And as we all know, it's a huge mall. Shoppers and employees had to run to safety and hid until police showed up. Officers have spent hours combing through every square foot of that building. In fact, less than an hour ago, police were still bringing people out of the mall after a lockdown there. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Danner Castro. And I'm Steve. So at least police cleared that mall just about 30 minutes ago, and there's still a lot we do not know right now. However, we can tell you that the first shots were fired right before noon. Here's a closer look of where that mall is. We don't know exactly where inside that mall that shooting happened or on what floor. We do have a team of reporters there. We're going to get the latest information now from King 5's Amy Marino, just feet away from the mall's entrance, Amy. Yeah, good evening. Two men were shot inside the mall. They were taken to Harborview Medical Center. One man is 27, the other 32 years old. Their injuries not life-threatening. In fact, we understand one of them is going to be released from the hospital this evening. The mall remains closed this evening as the police can see, continue the search for the shooter. And for the motive, we understand those involved may have known each other. But understandably, this was a terrifying day for those who were here shopping and working. And all of a sudden, I heard bang, bang, bang. The sound was unmistakable. Still, it seemed so out of place. I have the... Pop, pop, pop. Like that. Gun shot. The gun a lot of gunshots, two people, the shooter is on the loose, pray they find him. Now this young lady was there uh, and she took her own video of the situation, watch. She said it was the scariest day of her life. Life is brief, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta know where we're gonna spend eternity. You see that? Police cars everywhere. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to come to Jesus. Let me read you here in the book of, of Matthew. The Gospel of Matthew 24, 12 says, And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. It is the last day. It's going to get difficult. Come to Jesus, everybody. We're in the last days.